legendary loading music. Legendary. GTA 5 ain't got nothing. It's about to get lit, boy. What her number is? That one on the right gives me Neil Long vibes. I like that. Nice little caramel latte bitch. I'll give her some kids. Y'all ain't hear that. Anyways, the lost and damned. Johnny K. Y'all wrong. He went out bad in GTA 5. Y'all wrong for that shit. Y'all wrong for that. Badass motherfucking biker ahead of the Alderney chapter putting in all this motherfucking work on the East Coast just to go to the West Coast and get timbal and stomped by some meth head junkie in Sandy Shores. That is a goddamn shame, bro. That is a goddamn shame, bro. Y'all wrong for that. Y'all wrong for that. Nico, what up, boy? <laughs> I'm gonna kick her ass. Riding a motorcycle without a helmet. What are you gonna do about it, bitch? Better go suck a jelly roll. What up, baby? Doing, boy. You do understand what probation means. Uh. Yes, sir. It means that if you continue down that same path, you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month. Yes, sir. If I had it my way, we wouldn't waste our time. You'd be inside already. Mr. Gray has made great progress. His share on willfulness is one of the most powerful things. Look at this wannabe ass Morgan I Freeman. In this man. You'll find him in the great value section of Walmart. I told you don't live to regret that fate. <laughs> God in mysterious ways. Hmm. In this case, it seems God is downright perverse. But I'll leave the salvation to you gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad. I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. Pilly Gray. Here you go. It's about time. Sweet home. <laughs> the president. Crazy motherfucker. Snitching ass bitch. Let's get it, man. Only Billy Gray would get taken down on a distribution beef and end up in a country club. How are things in there? You know, John Boy, it was kind of hard. Harder than you think. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'd rather go back to. Stents in the hall or group share cluster fucks in that place. Okay. 
Whether it's train gangs in the showers or grown men crying and hugging in rehab, there's definitely an undeniable twinge of homosexuality in this fine country's correctional system. No wonder you can't. On the outside, too. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let's be clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Uh, Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Facts. Okay? I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. I hate people like that, bro. Just, it's always somebody else's fault. They blame the world for they fucked up. I hate people like that, bro. Here we are, dude. That's what you get for riding too close, bitch. Johnny, what's going on? Not much, Bill. Usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So, aching for a fucking drink here? Amiguito. Come on, just pour a willy wet back. Boys, salute you, you motherfuckers. Salute. <laughs> okay, another <laughs> round for you. Goddamn right. <sighs> Yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. Are you fucking deaf? No. Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. I can only imagine. Bro. Shut up. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15-year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you you should have gotten the bike. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! <laughs> they were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, and we needed the money. You needed some balls. Ugh. Some fucking heart. Something. I can't believe I'm hearing this shit. Yeah. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you. Paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, and then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart? You be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. I'm a little pin up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating. Fucked up shit. Craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off and I've been a bit of a prick lately. But come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's gotta stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm gonna go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's go! Billy Gray. If you want something done right, you do it yourself. Brothers aren't meant to be this close, Johnny, but we're gonna have to be until I get my bike back. Let's hope pretty boy still knows where this thing is. Guantanamo Avenue, boy. Yeah, okay, pretty boy. These are my streets, pretty boy. Managed to avoid prison, and I'm still asked to cock with a dude. Yeah, well, I ain't too happy about it neither, man. You want to turn around and go 
back to the clubhouse. I'm happy about it, all right, John Boy. Walk after that pair of shit to drink in the roads all in ID. Good to know. You've been missing me all that time I spent sharing and caring and rehab? Let's get your bike and save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You could do with some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> Can you do that? You boys would be too drunk to catch VD, let alone 230 pounds of rapidly approaching middle age. <laughs> you are 230 pounds of Jewish biker, John Boy. Your faith has gotta come first. Religion, Billy. Religion. I gave up on faith. Johnny the Jew. Limits the heat. Good to be here, man. Good to fucking oh. be here. What's your problem? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny. And you're just another brother. Can you handle it? Big mistake. As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did. Oh, Same as I'm doing line. now. Really? Feels kind of different. Up, before, all we cared about was having fun. Brothers, getting shit-faced. Screw you, you get in our way, you gotta get your teeth kicked in. Thank you for sharing. And now what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. Maybe if we stop doing it for a minute, we look around and realize that the fun ended a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the laws for the good times only, fair weather weekends in the careways, then you ain't in the laws. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, to slow down, that's still an option on the table. At least Bill ain't holding his waist. That would have been some real pause-worthy suspect type shit. <laughs> I saw one of them damn RTX videos on GTA 5 where they played the last mission. The, uh, the ambush at the foundry. For some reason, the nigga decided to pick Lamar up on a motorcycle. Lamar's literally holding Franklin's waist. I'm like, Nick, you couldn't pick a better choice of vehicle? It's like, come on, man. You sitting there tarnishing a legendary character with that faggot shit, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here we be. Pretty boy. Hey, where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Art's been changed up. Hard to say if that chopper's even around anymore. Sorry, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey, good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wait! Please, please! No, 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 no! no. Where is my ah, bike? Ah, no, Speak, you on. ugly ah, fuck! Ah, okay, listen. Ah, the Angels of Death took it to that place in Northwood. What the fucking Angels of Death? Uh oh. Ah, ah, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> Hit him with that Triple H hammer. <laughs> you know what I'm Shit. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's get this over with. It still makes no sense how the angel of death just disappeared in GTA 5. That's bad writing, bro. That's terrible writing. You didn't have to do that. We told you who had the bike. You really got south, haven't you, Johnny? You know, you could do with a stretch in the joint. Might harden you up. Whatever. What about an eye for an eye and all that shit? You should have been the one making that guy pay for holding out. Enough of that shit. We got more things to worry about than respect and stupid kid stuff. We gotta keep business afloat or we're fucked. You just don't get it, do you? This is what it's about. This. Not that money shit. We're in it to stick it to all those yuppies and hippies and motherfucking dead a stiff drink, some hard drugs, the wrong my chopper, that's all I need. Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that, now would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brothers, without you. If you don't get that, 
Then you don't get nothing, John Boy. That's the state of affairs. Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them. I love how there's no traffic on the road, too. I love it. That reminds me of when COVID first hit, being the only car on the road, I loved it. I loved all these sheep and stupid motherfucking drones sat in the fucking house yeah. all day. Oh, I don't Come ran past on. the joint. Let's get your fucking bike. Ah! Oh shit, I'm getting lit up, actually. Damn, I'm getting lit up. Y'all gotta be careful. That was actually not smart. Damn, I can't shoot for shit. Grocery versus the ball is low key. Grocery versus baller was top level though. You know what I'm saying? This ain't shit compared to that to keep it a stack. Similar, but not even close. But yeah, it, it don't make no sense how the angel of death just disappeared, bro. That's bad writing. If you wanna be, be, be truthful, if you wanna keep it a stack, it should have been the angels of death Trevor was stomping out GTA 5. That's who it should have been. Should have been the angels of death getting stomped out in GTA 5. Hell, they were founded in San Andreas. It makes no sense for them not to be there. Rockstar, y'all, y'all right, y'all writers are terrible, bro. That's nasty work, bro. That's terrible. That's terrible. Ooh, bitch. It's the little things in this game. Terry, that's her call. It's a free country. I don't know where you've been living, pal. Us brothers are the only free people I see. Look the brotherhood. You'll see. If y'all ain't played this expansion, you'll see. You're gonna see. If you know, you know. Billy, but you're gonna see. Back. You'll be cool now. Yeah, Jim? Something tells me fucking up pretty boy and killing them deadbeats ain't enough for it. Maybe. Let's just say I'm not Nico Bellic, man, sit y'all ass down somewhere. Y'all got obliterated by a meth head junkie in Sandy Shores. I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, Bill, got your bike. Take what you gotta take, drink what you gotta drink, fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill. But get it out of your system. Hmm. And when you do, give me a call and we'll get back to business. You're not my P.O., brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me. You still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up. And that I would really like some... I mean, we... Meaning all of us... Would love some... Oh. Everybody knows Ashley, tough guy.
But yeah, man, that does it for this part. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man, part, uh, part two. Cut throw ball out. Peace.